and with a sense of greatest urgency. Twas the week before Christmas when all through the house a cry echoed much louder than a roaring mouse. Don't raise our taxes on us, please be fair, or our middle class will be lost in despair. The majority was plotting a thought in its we should staunchly oppose what from the president was led. Millionaires shall be spared, not a penny we sap, but Keystone Pipeline we shall never, ever scrap. When outside the chamber there arose such a clatter, the public was disgusted and shouted, we matter. Away to offices, lawmakers flew in a flash, a change in this bill or else it will crash. End of year coming and no jobs planned to show. They said no regulations was the best way to go. Then what to our debate should suddenly appear but a sentiment from the public those in office should fear. Come on, Congress, be fair and be quick. Don't be deceiving and don't be so slick. More rapid the calls and emails they came. No pipeline, said Senator, I won't name. So let's get to work and not be Grinches this season. The economy and middle class are clearly the reason. We should have a straight vote, not this 400-page show, and help America's middle class and small business grow. Let's spring into action and get this bill done. We have other work. In fact, there's a ton. Spending bills, dock fix, unemployment, and more. Before the year ends, they must all come to the floor. We serve our constituents and our nation first for jobs and opportunities many of us thirst. Clean air and clean water should not be rolled back. Deregulatory riders our bill should well lack. Thus we go forward to end of the year. Good tidings and joy this Congress must steer. Working together with all of our might, happy holidays to all, and for fairness, let's fight. With that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back. The gentleman